On today's episode, we've got some corner doorway dungeon tiles and we are getting them painted up. Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here. So today I've got a neat little project. I am taking Hearst Arts molds and making corner doorway dungeon tiles. And the first step, as you can see, is to take Porconi black paint and base coat the entire dungeon tile. This doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to cover everything. And the great thing about this Merlin's Magic Plaster is that you can go directly over it, no primer needed. Now that the black base coat has dried, we're using Porconi Paints Base Gray to just go over the upper surfaces of the stones. We don't want to get down into the grooves in between the stones. We want that black to show through there. Uh, we're just doing, I would call this a, a heavy dry brush, like a dry slather almost. With the gray dry, now we're going to highlight some of the accent stones with Porconi Paints Earth Stone. Now it's time to do a dry brush with Porconi Paints Olive Dry Brush. Remember to let your dry brush fully dry before moving on to this step. We're using the stone edge dry brush to put a little white on our tile. This is perhaps one of the longest processes of this entire paint scheme. We're taking Perconi Paints base wood to go over and paint the entire door. And remember, we have backs and fronts, so it's like we're painting four doors.
As you do this, just try to keep the paint off of the areas that are going to be painted in silver. Uh, it just helps keep the silver color a little cleaner. So now we're going to use Vallejo's model color in silver. Now this is a metallic, so remember it paints a little thicker than normal and covers a little worse than regular uh, acrylic paint. So you want to be generous and make sure that you smooth it out because otherwise you're going to see all of your brush marks. You'll use this to cover all of the metal bandings on the door. After that has fully dried, we're going to use Citadel Shades Null Order, which is a wonderful new wash that I just got recently. And we're going to cover over the silver that we just painted on there to age it and weather it a little bit. Put it on generously and it'll run into the recesses. Our next step on the door is to use the same Porcone Paints Stone Edge Dry Brush on a much smaller brush to brush over the high points on the wood texture. I always think that wood looks a little better if you follow up with a dark wash after you do your dry brush. So I'm using Vallejo's Game Color in the Raw Umber Wash. At this point we're basically done. All you have left is to clear coat using either a matte or gloss acrylic varnish. 
I tend to use the gloss on the metal portions and the matte for everything else myself. And there you have it guys, one completed dungeon tile, double doors to go into a corner. So this, like I said at the beginning of the video, was made using original molds from Her Starts. If you're interested in getting your hands on those molds, I'll put a link down in the description for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them for me in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Hey, if you like these videos and want to help me keep making them, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.